Hmm. Mm -hmm. Today's just one of those days where I just don't know how to start the video. Well, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Today we are, of course, going to be tackling the same beast that we have done for the last couple of episodes. The interior of the mansion. And I've been looking at some feedback from all of you guys and it would seem that everyone is on the same page, that this is looking good, and it looks like you guys are just as surprised as I am that I'm even doing this interior in the first place. So, I think we can all be proud of ourselves. So, what are we going to be doing in here today? Well, this build has been taking me quite a long time, so I'm taking it bit by bit. And today, I want to be adding, as you probably know from the the thumbnail of this video is I want to be adding a giant chandelier right there, nice and bright and full of diamonds. And also, I want to add myself a fancy floor. Now, this floor was actually kind of inspired by Cubfan. Over his base, he made a really, really nice looking floor. In fact, Let's, let's go there now and have a look so you can see where the inspiration came from. Aha, the, the mega pyramid of cub fan. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, so let's have a look and see if we can find it. Oh my god, the man has a wall of ancient debris. I believe it's one in- there it is. Okay, finally. The cub's base is probably a candidate for hiding secret bases in, to be honest, because it is enormous and there are so many places to hide. But check this out. There is a corner of Cub's Pyramid that has a really nice pattern on it. Look at that. It's a proper mosaic. And he's used the glazed terracotta really, really well here. And this very much inspired me to try and do... Well, not obviously not the same pattern, but I never use glazed terracotta. I find it quite a difficult block to work with. But I feel like Cub's done such a good job here and... I'd be a fool not to try. So, I mean, massive shout out to the work done here because I, I really like this. So, let's go back to the base and start working on that interior. How do I get out of here? You really gotta respect the bold choice of blocks. Lapis lazuli blocks as the ceiling? Come on, Cub. This is, you just, you're just showing off. And I've gone the wrong way again. Oh, while we're passing by, a bit of an update on button 2.0. Still don't know what this is but other people have been saying it's the Hermitcraft Bumbo Baggins Society. So, I mean, that, that seems like a bit of a stretch, Mumbo, that button 2.0 is something to do with hobbits. But I was a hobbit. I don't know if I'm going to get involved with... Well, I've signed up, so I am involved. But there's an update. You know, it, the, the clock is ticking. We, we're nearly halfway. Very much nearly halfway. Okay, so, diamond chandelier, glazed terracotta floor... That's the plan, and that's what I want to achieve at the start of today's episode. So, let's just get into it, time-lapse style. There it is the floor of the mansion, or at least part of the floor of the mansion, I used this really nice bright red, which I didn't really expect, but it ended up being the complementary colour for the warped stem over there, and I know that it was probably designed this way for the, for the nether update, but I never really considered it. I just, you know, kind of just thought this would match, and it did. Along with the glazed terracotta, I really went out of my comfort zone here, and I think it paid off. But I think for me, the highlight isn't the floor. I'm more proud of the floor, but the highlight is the diamond chandelier. It is really, really bright and sparkly. I'm pretty proud of how this has ended up being. So you're gonna have to let me know what you think, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna change any of this because uh, I'm I'm really feeling it. So while I was building this, over the course of a few hours while I was making it, this thing has been working away making more melons and pumpkins, which has been supplying my villager trading hall down here. So we're gonna oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I just barged in on your little. Uh, I'm stuck in here with you forever. Okay, there we go. So let's see how much it's been producing. Yep. 
that is a lot better. So the base is finally being a bit more productive, which is excellent. So now that the main hall is pretty much where I want it to be, maybe there's a few bits of detail that I'll add later on. I mean, I added some signs and such for a little extra detail, but this room, pretty much where I want it to be now. So now I need to focus on the wings. Now again, this is a project that I'm slowly going to do bit by bit, but I have already made some progress over here. So my plan for this wing of the mansion is going to be a brand new villager breeder, and it's actually going to be an automatic one that I can turn on and turn off. So I'm not constantly throwing bread at them. So I've got this all set up. Now I just need to move the villagers all the way up and in here. Before we start moving these, and you guys know, moving villagers, worst. So these are the only two villagers I have left. Okay, so if anything happens to these guys, it's game over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rage quit Hermitcraft. They just looked at each other like, <laughs> they just looked at each other like, oh no, <laughs> something, something terrible is going to happen. <laughs> so the main thing, the advice that I want to give you is if you're moving your villagers around, just double check the tracks and make sure there's nothing obvious that's going to go wrong. In theory, they're going to go right up here and just flop straight into there. So... I can't see anything going wrong. There should be enough power to get them there. Yeah, let's just let's just do it. I have a bit more experience with the villagers now, so let's see how we get on. One at a time is also a really good idea. We'll get both of them on the track and out of here. Now, another tip for you guys if you're ever moving villagers, glass. Glass won't make them suffocate. Oh, I said one at a time, but they've totally gone off without me. What did that just happen? If the bunch of green particles. Well, it's not exactly what I was intending, but that works. Now you just got to carefully get rid of the minecart. Come on. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! It worked. Oh man, it worked. Now that they're here, I need to get these guys to make another villager really quick because I need... To make this automatic, we need a farmer that's going to take lots of carrots and feed these guys. That's how that's how this works. And there'll be a link to the design that I've used in the description as well. So in theory, the villager should come up to them and throw carrots, I believe. Last time I was trying to get these guys to breed, they just wouldn't. No, no, something went wrong. Angry, 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 angry. Okay. I should have done this a long time ago. Come on, guys. No, villagers. You Oh, they're the worst! What? This doesn't make any sense! Maybe... 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 Yes! Woo! Okay, wicked! That's exactly what we need, but that looks like that they could easily walk out of there. So I'm going to forestall this and make sure that there's a barrier. Because if these villagers escape, they're gonna certainly fall to their death. Something's still going wrong here, and it's something I will have to kind of come back to, but at least I've got what I needed to get this thing underway. So, that's where I'm gonna leave this project for now. We're gonna come back to this in the next episode and hopefully make some decent progress on making this thing actually function. I need to work out what's going wrong with the glass. There's always, like, seriously, these things are so annoying that one block of glass out of place and the whole thing doesn't work. So, yeah, I, it's so annoying, but I will figure this out. But uh, it's not something that I feel like I need to go over a million times. So I think we're kind of done with the interior for today's episode. I can't get over, like, I'm really happy with how this is sort of filled out and filled in. I mean, th what do you think of my diamond chandelier? Oh, this is really funny, by the way. I was going to use this, this diamond chandelier, to flex on my wealth. But the, the diamonds used in this chandelier, they don't even make a dent. Here's my diamond box. And it took away maybe 20 diamond blocks. It... I need to find a better way to display these diamonds because keeping them in this shulker box is not doing it for me. So um, I'll have to figure that out at some point. But enough of my base for now. We need to go 
to someone else's base. Man, the mansion is so cool. We're gonna head over to Corallis' base, and if you remember last episode, I joined in a little bit of a pact of some kind with B-dubs and Impulse, and we decided that we were gonna make secret bases in Corallis' city. And I've done a little bit of reconnaissance, and I've found the place that I want to make my base. Unfortunately, I can't show you exactly where that is, because, like always, can't trust you. Just, just can't trust you that much. So, I'm gonna have to make this secret room off camera really quick, and then cut to it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get this secret room made, and then I'll, I'll just, I'll magically appear inside it. Guys, I think I figured out how to flex on my diamonds. I have come to the conclusion that making a secret base is pretty dangerous. And so there's no point making some pretty interior because it's probably gonna get found pretty quickly. So I thought I'm just gonna make an ugly diamond room just to really <laughs> rub it in. I, I don't know what possessed me to do this. There's something beautifully ugly about this. So, this is my secret base. I've not, I've not showed you where it is, but I have got a pesky bird here with me. I think this is the staple of a good secret base. And guess what? I mean, this has genuinely made a dent in my diamond stocks. Uh, I, this is about half of my diamonds here. And I have actually linked it up because I have a plan, okay? And I'm about to take you through the plan. So, I've, I've linked this up and there's a little tunnel here and there. Boom. This is going to be the sewer system underneath Corallis' base. That's right. So, the plan is, I have no idea where the other guys have made their base in this city. But I thought we could link them up with a big sewer system. So obviously that's going to take a little bit of time, and I need to coordinate with the other guys. Now, every now and again, every time I do something on the server, basically people say, Oh, God, Grian's starting another war. Not, not everything I do has to start a war, okay? Sometimes I just want to start a society of sewer-related mole people. And that's what we're doing! And I figured that this will be much more fun if I get more people involved. So, sitting at Corallis' base, so, sitting in Corallis' desk, I'm gonna write myself a couple of invitations for a couple of my neighbours and see if they want to just jump in on this thing and get going. Also, I wonder if Corallis will notice something like this. So yeah, I think that I'm done starting wars and I'm going to make more societies of hidden bases mole people. You are cordially invited to make a secret base in Corallis' city and join the Sewer Society of Hermits. You can build anywhere, just keep it a secret from Corallis. Link up your secret base to the sewers. Okay, the sewers don't exist yet, but there's, there's plenty of time for that. Let's make a couple copies. As I'm flying around, I can't stop thinking about if I've spelt cordially right. I say so I sometimes I say words but I never spell them and now I'm just I'm just guessing and now I feel really weird about it. I don't know, just weird things. So the first person that we're gonna invite to the Sewer Society of Hermits is probably the most suitable candidate, the king of shenanigans, Etho himself. I haven't seen him in a while, but I, I, where do you leave mail for, for Etho? You know what? This is the spot. Boom. An invitation. We'll see We'll see if he bites. Of course, these invitations are just open. They don't have to. They can always turn them down. But we've already got three people potentially living in Corallis' city, and I've got some really funny ideas on how to make this even bigger. But in order to make this bigger, I need a few more people. Not everyone. It would be madness if we had everyone living in Corallis' city. But enough people. Right. Now, the next person I want to invite is Good Times with Scar. We're usually on the other side of storylines most of the time. But this time, we're going to be secret base bros. Well, if he joins. <gasps> or are we? 
Oh, you can't leave Baby Yoda lying around. Maybe I should just move. Maybe I should just move Baby Yoda. Make 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 Scar think that he's been stolen when he really has just moved. The last person is actually Ren, who has been my neighbor for quite a while now, but I haven't actually done an awful lot with. Again, this is somewhere I don't really know where to leave mail, I'm guessing here. So, the invitations are set, we've got our secret base set up, and we have spent a lot of diamonds getting things done today. This could end up being quite a lot of fun, to be honest with you. I don't I don't know exactly where this is going to go. I also heard that Shady EEs is back open, and Shady EEs is a floating shulker box shop that you can't see unless, of course, you load it in. But I... I don't know where it is. How Do you have to get really close? I guess you have to find it first. I'm also guessing it would leave a shadow. Maybe it hasn't. Maybe Etho just said Shady Ease is open. But he hasn't actually built anything. Because look, you see that? That shadow? That tells me that Shulker Box is there. Shop made of Shulker Boxes is no good if you can't find it. Okay, I've, I've definitely missed something. I have no idea where it is. Speaking of shops, I have definitely been putting off this plot over here for a while. I want to do another barge expansion, but I've been so busy. Obviously, January is a bit more of a slow month anyway. I like to take a little more time between episodes. But, like, I've been doing the interior and the secret base thing, and I haven't had enough time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I haven't actually taken any profit from Impulse. I've been just giving him the diamonds. I haven't actually done anything to make... Uh, you know an impulse worthy area or anything like that. I have a really big project in mind for the barge The next expansion will be magnificent. The issue is the time thing So there's gonna be a little patience involved on on your guys's side in order to get this uh, Done because I need to plan that out. I'm back in the sewers And I'm just trying to figure out a design for this now I've got very limited resources down here and you know leaving Leaving the sewers and coming back is a bit of a pain. So what I was thinking of doing was just trying to kind of nail a sort of blank canvas kind of style. And I don't think it's going too well. We do have that sort of sewer shape. But, you know, if everyone on this Corallis hiding game, the sewer society, whatever we're calling this thing, then we're going to need to nail this design and make sure that it's consistent. So I'm not completely sold on this. I may need to get some help. However, I think we're onto something pretty good. All of the little details can come way later. I One thing for sure is that I really do want to have water, but not enough water that it's annoying. Just like, just a, you know, a little bit like this. And if you want a little bit of extra detail, you can of course put some... Oh, I s oh it's B-dubs! Oh, it's B-dubs! Okay, we're good. Whew, I thought Corallis was online for a second there. We're okay. We're okay. All right, I'm glad that someone's actually making some progress elsewhere. So I think we have an idea of where B-dubs is. Uh, but look, check it out. All I wanted to do was have some like dripping water going down here. So what I want to do is just kind of off camera, I'm gonna kind of nail this design. I'll talk to everyone about what we're gonna, ooh. I still don't know how, I've been playing this game for 10 years and I still don't know how water works. But as you can see, I'm going to have to make a couple of trips back and forth with some fresh stone. I'm going to need some cracked bricks. I'm also going to need some mossy bricks. And you get the idea. I'm going to need a lot of blocks to make this work. But I'm just not quite happy with this. So I'm going to need some, some assistance from the rest of the guys. And probably make it look overgrown. And if I had some slime, I reckon some slime coming out of the walls and stuff. Make it look a bit gross. Like, I mean, this is a sewer. This is not going to look particularly clean. I'm a little bit concerned that B-dubs is really close to my secret base. Let's just, let me just check he has, you know, oh, oh, I'm stuck in here. Let's just check that B-dubs isn't actually in our base. He might just be extremely close. Okay, he's extremely close. Uh, I, no, he's, he's found it. He, he's... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna need a new secret base. By the time that anyone sees this video, th this, this diamond box is gone. <laughs> Come on in, let me show you around. 
<laughs> I guess that's the problem. You want to see how close I am to Corallis? I haven't even seen Corallis. I've been rumbled. Maybe I can leave this up for a little while. Dubs. <laughs> I ne Ooh. He nearly, he nearly got, he nearly got got there. <laughs> he nearly, oh, that was a mistake. Okay, so I, I need, I need help with this sewer. Well, I guess the bird's out of the bag there. Well, that grates my cheese. I just made an entire episode based around this secret base, and it's been rumbled instantly. Look, look how close I am to Corallis's office. Like, I'm literally right here. By the time that Corallis gets here, though, I'll be gone. So, say goodbye, pesky bird. We need to... And this is the beauty of the diamond box. We can move it around super easily. But I'm afraid that is all we have time for today. We've been rumbled instantly. The plan is still is in place. Secret bases, link them up with the sewer. I'm going to go and work on that off camera to make sure that they are hidden a little better this time. Good. Bye.